I'm here with Pragna Nanda, Prag, third place bronze medal for Team India 2 and also bronze medal on individual board. How's the feeling? Yeah, it feels really a uh, proud moment for me. And uh, yeah, uh, team could have, like, team medal could have been better, but I think uh, I'm happy about the bronze. Yeah, could have been gold, but uh, it's always nice that you are not very happy with bronze. That means that uh, they were, you were in a very good position. Yeah, yeah, we were uh, almost uh, in the top always, and uh, it's it is pretty that uh, we missed it in the last few games, but it's okay. I think uh, we played quite well, so we we'll have to vote. When you went up to the stage to get your individual medal, and on the same board you had your sister Vaishali as well getting the bronze, and you both stood together, that must have been special. Yeah. That was a special feeling. I think my parents felt more proud uh, Yeah, absolutely. And everyone in India was very proud. Uh, coming to your games, the, your game against uh, Santos Jaime Latasa, uh, very weird game, yes? Uh, yeah, I, I think uh, my games in the, uh, in the third, fourth and fifth round were very shaky. Um, in the third round, I won a lost position against Yannick. I won on time. But okay, towards the end, it, the position was equal. But um, still, I think that game I played very badly. Um, I was lost throughout the game. Somehow, I managed to defend and get an okay position. But okay, unfortunately, lost on time. Uh, and in the fourth game, I made a draw against uh, a 2500 from Italy. Um, yeah, which was okay uh, okay game but i felt i could have played better in the middle game um i felt some of my moves were a little bit shaky so i was not very happy and uh, in the fifth round i played uh, yamai uh, and i yeah i i think i in the first half i kind of took some pressure like i didn't handle it so well um because okay this is my first over the board olympiad i played under 16 olympiad once but this is uh, much more tougher and much more uh, um, harder. So. so, did you feel the pressure overall of the Olympia? Ah, uh, yes. Um, I think there was definitely a lot of pressure. Uh, and that was in the second half. Um, I think every game was crucial, and uh, you have to be very careful. And I'm very happy that I managed to play some good games in the second half. So, how did you manage to overcome because the pressure was making you make bad moves or you know getting into bad positions? What changed in the second half? Yeah, I think uh, me and Ramesh have spoke about this, and uh, he gave me some of the good advice. So um, then I got the rest. Like I got, uh, I was dropped on, and then I got uh, the rest. Day. And so I got two off. So then I. any advice that you can share with us maybe some of the players can benefit because many times they also take pressure of tournaments results and then uh, the tournament goes downhill i think um, like he's Ramesh is very good at uh, these things um, like specifically because he sees from the he's, he's there seeing uh, all the players so he knows what's going wrong um, like he's also very good at psychology and stuff so um, not only for me, I think for everyone in the team, it was uh, so much there and there. And I think that really helped uh, um, everyone. Uh, I think one of them is just, I think it's normal, like, you just have to, like, not really think about the game. It's easy to be, easy to say, but uh, tough to do. And not I was think trying, about the result. Yeah. Um, but I think it, in team tournaments, it's, you should also focus on other games. But not too much, but times you have to look at others. Hmm. Correct. Uh, against Ortiz Suarez, he played this move Rook C1, which is kind of uh, rare. And were you prepared against that move? Um, no, I didn't expect this line that day. I looked at it like uh, some months back. But um, Rook C1, somewhere I knew that for Rook C1 I had to play 97. Um, I thought 
that this is the point. Um, but maybe it's not yet. Um, but after that, he played this small short castle, which allowed my knight to come to f5, and I got very nice pressure on his d4 pawn, and everything was weak. Um, then he had to weaken his king side with g4, and I got f f5, c5, everything was open, and I got a great position. Amazing, and you won quite easily that yeah. game. Uh, and against Durar Bailey Wasif, I think the heartbeats of everyone were going back and forth all the time. Uh, did you feel that at some point you were losing? Um, yeah, of course, I, I felt I was losing. Um, but I just had to keep playing and keep defending. Um, but I think when I had time, I think I played quite well. Like I kind of outplayed him with this uh, isolated pawn where I got my queen to h4, h5. h4, h5, I got rook d1, bishop g2 and everything was nice. But I kind of uh, started playing very badly when uh, yeah when the time trouble started. And then I also, okay in the second time got draw also I found this rook d3, rook d1 and uh, things. Hmm. Um, yeah, uh, and then also e4 was the correct move so I think there I found a couple of good moves, but then again the time table started and okay, um, there were a lot of uh, um, mistakes, but then... He made the last one. Yeah, um, but I think uh, spectators as um, more uh, artbeat than players I think, in a way because you're just focused on the game, uh, because you can't really think about anything else, your time is running low. So. Yeah, but in the end, this nice rook g6 move you found, bishop d3, I mean, you finished yeah. it off pretty well. And uh, against Javokir Sindarov, I actually interviewed him yesterday and he said that uh, matches with you, games with you are uh, now, he's played many games with you. So it's like a nice uh, bit of rivalry that you both have and you calculated always more than him and he, fo he thought you played amazingly. Um, yeah, um, I've been playing him since, uh, I think 2013, we're we in the same category, um, so we used to play in a lot of all those category events, and yeah, um, and about this game, I think I'm very happy about this game, uh, I think definitely best game of this tournament for me, because the other games were not so good, <laughs> but um, I was happy that I managed to calculate uh, Still this f4 point from when I took queen c6, just kind of forced but also... Oh, I you shot till f4. Yeah, I mean everything was forced. Nice. I had also a couple of wins uh, um, instead of this, like I can, instead of going queen c3, I can start with rook d2 and bishop d3, queen c3, which was maybe easier. But, uh, okay, I saw this first time, so I thought I'll just go for it. Did you see this variation, very pretty one, instead of bishop g4, yes. bishop c4. Ah, yeah, king f6, bishop d5, right? Yes. Yeah, but I was not sure about... I mean, I didn't see bishop d5 during the game. Um, I thought maybe... like, um, Also, I, I was not sure that bishop c4 maybe can somehow take and play with the bishop on e6, somehow keep the pawn, but probably it's not able to. Um, but I thought bishop d4 is simpler. Uh, okay, I'm just getting g3, of course. And you knew the technique to win with rook pawn versus bishop? Um, I knew... I mean, I knew this, uh, that you had to bring bring your king back to h5, g4, but I kind of uh, didn't remember the important nuances, like, there is a Zugzwang position which you have to know, um, which I didn't remember, but I kind of tricked him into one of the easily, like, uh, techniques, yeah? Yeah. He plays this bishop b1 and allows my king to get easily, can't now give bishop d1 check. I think you were keeping your pawn on h3 because you wanted that h4 square for the king, but maybe then you pushed it. Yeah, I, I think h4, I knew h4 is winning, but um, I thought maybe h3 is simpler somehow, but yeah, I, I realized if h4 is winning, I should just go h4 and win it. Fantastic. And uh, lastly, like your preparation and all, uh, you know, was methods were different from your teammates, you know, some of them didn't look at the pairings much, some of them prepared very hard. Was it was it easy to, you know, work with your teammates? How was it? Yeah, we were uh, working every day, you know, like mostly uh, me, Nihal, Raunak and uh, Adimana were preparing in Ramesh's room, mostly uh, for the games. And yeah, we, we used to prepare in the morning 
and yeah like as Mukesh said, would would not join yeah um, yeah he sometimes um, joins in the meeting but um, he doesn't i think he has some uh, his own routine yeah in his own routine so it, we didn't want to disturb him and he was doing quite well so okay it doesn't make sense to uh, disturb him so i think we four were preparing together and i think it helped in some of the games we were sharing ideas and it really felt like a uh, team event and there was a lot of fun and lastly uh, who are the people who helped you in this event like who are the people you would like to thank yeah of course my parents um my father came to the tournament for the first time and that too it's a olympiad so it's a special thing and also me and my sister got uh, individual land in uh medal so it's a special thing for me and um of course ramesh sir and uh, because he has been um i think since 2014 and um and like i have had a lot of bad uh, months and um uh, now kind of playing okay just because of him and um, also my sponsors uh, ramco and uh, they have been yeah supporting me since 2016 and they still continue so i'm very thankful to venkat rama raja sir and um, iocl uh, uh, indian oil and they have uh, taken me in tenant uh, basis and i also met uh, chairman sir uh, yes. he did the opening yeah, yeah. Um, Anand sir, he was here a lot of times. Um, we even connected sometimes in Zoom, I Zoom, and we had conversations. And he was helping us. Uh, and also in Baka, uh, I've been learning a lot from there. Um, and uh, uh, that's mainly uh, these are the main people to thank. And also uh, to Chief, uh, Dr. Chief Minister, and uh, and the All Nations Federation. if uh, the tournament is not held here i wouldn't be playing so yeah uh, because team 2 wouldn't have yeah, been there yeah also volunteers and all like, i met a lot of ais officers um police officers who were uh, here through all the police event. officers are big big fans yeah, of you yeah <laughs> um yeah they are mainly because locals so they okay. and of course tani and arjun kalyan yeah uh, not to forget them yeah they they made a huge role in the team um they were helping uh, us with the ideas and uh, things like that i think um, the one game which really helped me was against the west league uh very bad against the us um this is this 93 move 393 and i lost to santos in the okay one of those rounds uh, i lost like um i got a unpleasant position and then i decided to deviate with g6 and which was checked by uh, arjun kalyana i think it really helped that game i got very good position out of the opening and i was pushing through the game um, so i think there are a lot of very good ideas so i think it was really, really, really well uh, prag the nature is uh, very heavy right now and uh, it was amazing talking to you and as always congratulations and best wishes for ftx crypto cup miami yeah. i think you are going to play magnus anish all the top players in the world excited for it yes um there will be a lot of top players and it will be a match format so it will be a nice play for game take care okay after that